grab these and follow me. Ladies, guys. What do you need? Huh? You got a problem? You see, polystyrene is an aromatic hydrocarbon, while gasoline is made up of simple aliphatic hydrocarbons. You try saying that. Anyway, mix the two together, all those molecular chains break up into single covalent bonds. Yeah, everybody knows that. friend is a napalm molotov uh, <laughs> and that is how we're gonna win this war once i fine-tune the formula that shit's gonna burn hotter than an acetylene torch <laughs> know how that is yeah i got a pretty good idea i worked in an auto shop you need anything else nah man i'm good so goddamn close <laughs> kaboom <laughs> gonna blow up and burn son taking it to the ass I was writing the two men. We've been together from the start. Who the hell is the night. Huh, Eddie Apuma? Someone down the valley behind us that attracted a horse. I'm just gonna grab some shot at it. They were cooking. Holy hell. <laughs> Nothing like that happened to me. Lucky, I guess. Oh, Corporal, what's happening? Hey, Sarge. St. John to Whitaker, I, uh... Uh, Corporal St. John, yes. Matt, the Colonel is here. I was just telling him how helpful you've been. Corporal St. John? Yes, Lieutenant Whitaker has been singing your praises. Just doing my job, Colonel. Uh, sir? I'm glad. Lieutenant Whitaker's work is well behind schedule. Perhaps with your help. Matt, I told you. Biology, the work that I'm doing, is far more complicated than just building a bomb. Weaver is... Lieutenant Weaver is ahead of schedule. If you don't make similar progress, I'm going to have to pull resources from you and give them to him. Is that clear, Lieutenant? Yes, sir, Colonel. Carry on. Uh, is everything okay? It sounds a lot like... Sorry, I have to go. Diamond Lake Outpost. Captain. Yes, sir. Hey, let's go. Open up. It's one of Curry's men. Open it up.
Let's work, people. Keep moving. Hey, Corporal. Moving, Sergeant. Yes, sir. So how long were you in the service? I mean, yeah, I missed the swearing in, but I can always tell when someone served. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, four years, 10th Army, Afghanistan. And like I told the Colonel, I hated every goddamn minute of it. How about you? Yeah. <laughs> You got the eye for it, too, huh? Me? No, nothing so grandiose like you. National Guard, eight years. I actually kind of loved it, you know, pushing pencils and Salem and, and playing yes, soldier on the together. weekends. Yes, Sergeant! Yes, Sergeant! Yes, Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. We all did our part. Yeah, we did it that. One, two, that is true. One, two, mm -hmm. one, two, follow the cadence! Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See you, Corporal. Corporal. Uh, uh, so, uh, where are you from, Lucas? Was it? Uh, I, I can't place your accent. <laughs> that obvious. Y yeah, f f from Canada originally. Yeah, I was down here on holiday with the family, yeah, doing a bit of camping out, you know, w west of Crater Lake. The wife and kids. Uh, my boys would have been eight and nine this year. Canada? Huh? You're a long way from home. Ah, oh, tell me about it. Yeah, I, I was a teacher, uh, engine repair in Calgary at the Technical Institute. Oh, you ever been? No, no, I guess not. Uh, anyways, the colonel, he uh, g gave me this job, so now this is home. Yeah. yeah. Well, th th there you go. Let's see you, Corporal. Keep that bike close, yeah? Go, go, go! You gotta move your ass! You think you can outrun Corporal, Hell Deacon, no, you're not. good. Come on, you gotta work. Thank you for reporting in so quickly. It sounded urgent, sir. It is. We have another hostage situation. Hostage? Damn, it seems like every squatter within a dozen miles has it in for us, or for the militia, you know, I mean. It does seem that way. I've marked his last known position on your map. He's just a kid, St. John. Private Ross, Ethan. I sent him to track down a group of marauders, and he must have gotten in over his head. Private Ross, I don't know him, but uh, I'll get him out alive, Captain. Good luck, St. John. Dismissed. Why are you not working hard? St. John, this is Colonel Garrett. Report. Yes, sir. Corporal. Yes. This is of the utmost urgency. A soldier, an officer, has gone to aid. Uh, an officer. On a traitor of the worst kind. He murdered two enlisted men and stole a bike from the motor park. He's been spotted on the South Rim Drive. The stolen bike has a blue tank. Find him, Corporal. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll chase him down. Corporal, bring him back. Alive. Alive, sir. We're going to hang him, Corporal. An example for anyone who thinks they are above militia regulations. Who thinks they are above the laws of God. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Dismiss, Corporal. Oh, I smell a nest. Gotta be right here. This is Corporal Russell. Come in. Move back, damn it. Move. You heard him. Pull back. Pull back. Russell, report. Jesus, how about camp they got going on here?
That was a lot of goddamn marauders. Oh, Jesus. Hey, Ethan. I presume, uh, yeah? How are you doing, Corporal? Buddy? Man, am I glad to see you. Yeah? You didn't want to join up with those assholes? Hell no. And I had no idea what they were going to do to me. Yeah, well, it wasn't going to be good. Uh, are you good to get out of here on your own? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, man. Still got the Colonel spotted him. It's him all right. Remember, Corporal, I want him alive. Yes, sir. Colonel, I'll get him. St. John out. Hey, oh, come on, you asshole. What the hell? Going AWOL is one thing, but you didn't have to murder two men to do it. Michael, please, just let me go. I'll, I'll tell you where I, I stashed you, I swear. Sorry, pal. Tell it to the Colonel. Colonel, Freaks. I've got him. Freaks. Alive. Transmitting me. coordinates now. I'm sending a patrol now. Report back to me. Gear it out. I can fix this. It should work. Colonel, I'm at the location where she was last spotted. You found her? Not yet, but uh, I see an abandoned militia bike, so uh, she can't have gone far. Very good, Corporal. Carry out your orders. 
Garrett out. Okay, what happened? Uh, the bike broke down, and you weren't too happy about that. I don't blame you. Uh, small boot prints, that's gotta be hers. Uh, they're heading this way. Gotta take a closer look. Oh, what's that? She must have dropped something. What did you drop, Crystal? Because whatever it was, you wanted it back real bad, didn't you? What is this? A ring? Okay, I got one of them back. More boot prints this way. This is it. What's this? Oh, yellow snow. I mean, shit, if you gotta go, you gotta go. You ain't concerned about anything out here, are you, Crystal? More boot prints in this way. Yeah, always. Colonel, reporting in. Corporal, yes. Captain Curry is retrieving the prisoner as we speak. He'll have his fair trial tomorrow. And then we'll hang him at dusk. Fair trial? Of course. Every man deserves a fair trial. And then a fair hanging by the neck until dead. Uh, yes, fair trial. Then, uh, all right, anyway, just reporting in, St. John. So hard. Oh man, you keep picking the wrong friends. Screw you. Hey, hey, you, you don't remember me? Oh, I remember you. Standing up on the stage, kissing the colonel's ass like a good little soldier. Well, Jesus Christ, do you know why I'm here? <laughs> I figure the son of a bitch colonel put a bounty on my head. So do it already. I don't give a shit. What the hell are you doing? I'm not gonna kill you, I just, I need the rings. Those are my goddamn rings. The son of a bitch has stolen from me, they're mine! Yeah, yeah they are. But it's either the rings or your life, so what's it gonna be? You can go to hell! You're welcome! So hard.
Colonel, sir, reporting in. I'm, uh, returning the stolen property. Corporal? Yes, the worker. Common thief and murderer. Did she put up a fight? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, she did. Uh, she put up a hell of a fight, but it was nothing that I couldn't handle. You fight on the side of righteousness, Corporal. Don't give it another thought. It is those like her, liars, thieves, murderers, drug addicts, criminals all, who brought this scourge down upon us. I will not weep to see them gone, every one. Dismissed, Corporal. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll get back to work. Many of you have been with me from the beginning. Listened to me when I warned about the coming of God's plague. Journeyed with me to this place. Helped me to build this ark. But whether you were with us from the beginning, or joined our ranks only today, you are now part of this great endeavor. You are now part of our mission to save mankind. I want to remind you, as you go forth beyond these walls to perform your duties, that we are still searching for material worthy of safekeeping within the Ark. We seek textbooks, manuals, encyclopedia, discs, and other media. Lieutenant Weaver has listed several books on chemistry that are needed. Lieutenant Whitaker has listed books on biochemistry, genetics, and biology that we are lacking. Captain Jimenez has listed books on medicine, anatomy, and surgical procedures that we need. Sergeant Tomlinson has listed books on highway construction, mechanical engineering. And Captain Hawkins is always looking for material related to agriculture and hydroponics. So, while you're out doing runs, keep an eye out for items like these. Do your part to help us fill the Ark. Company dismissed. Sarah. Yeah, just um, put it on the counter, will you? Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. It's... This is just really frustrating for me sometimes. I wouldn't know. Uh, I, I just need another requisition form. No, you know what? I'm, I, I'm not going to give this one to you. What? Why not? So I'm gonna go with you this time. Let's go. Come on, soldier. See if you can keep up with me. Yeah, right. When's the last time you went on a run? I mean, you know, out in the shade. Hey, I've done supply runs like anyone else. Though I gotta admit, it's been a while. Do you even have a bike? Yeah. But, uh, I think I'm gonna ride with you on this run. No chance of us getting separated that way. Yes, ma'am. Stop with... The... Hey, you, uh, you been inside the Ark yet? Uh, the cave's here. Yeah, I got the grand tour when I arrived. From the Colonel himself. Come on, even you gotta give the man some credit. For the vision, stockpiling, preparing, saving what we can. Yeah, well, I'll give him this. This island is a goddamn fortress. Nothing's gonna get in here without a hell of a fight. Exactly. Here, this is my tent. Wow, 
nice place. It's got that woman's touch. Oh, right. I'm hardly ever here, and most nights I usually spend it on a cot in the lab. Look at this. This will get the job done. It was a gift from Matt when I first joined up. Matt? The Colonel. Oh, Jesus, come on, Deacon. It's just a gun. Come on. Let's go this way. I want to show you something. Following you. When I got here, the militia had cut down almost every tree on the island. I asked Matt, the colonel, to save the last one. Oh, yeah? Well, why did you, uh, do that? Do you remember the weekend we rode up here? To Crater Lake, I mean, after we got married. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember. I remember thinking, God, when Mount Mazama blew up, I mean, how long did it take? The lava to cool and the soil to form, all these trees to grow. When all this is over, when we leave this fucking island, I want there to be at least one tree left. Uh, listen, these guys don't give a shit about any of that. I've, I've been through their dead zone. Look, the Colonel's focused on winning the war. The sooner I do my part, the sooner he'll stop burning everything to the ground. What's wrong? No, nothing. It's just... <sighs> Never mind. <clears throat> Hold on, uh... Hold on tight. There's a community college east of here, off the highway. You know the one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's take the south bridge. It'll be faster. I'm with you. Hey, so I gotta ask, uh, all this stuff, the, the yeast, the silicon... Why do I need it? The weapon I'm working on is the fear side. If I can isolate the virus that causes the cells to mutate, I can kill it. Okay. almost didn't. After the feds pulled out, anyone still alive started putting up roadblocks of their own, and they started shooting people on sight. We somehow made it to that refugee camp where we, where we thought that you were going to be waiting, but like I said, it was gone. So we tried a few others, same story, no survivors, everything overrun. So within a week, the whole damn valley was a war zone. People were Killing each other over scraps of food. Sometimes killing each other for no reason at all. If Boozer and I hadn't stuck together, I don't think we would have made it. Wait, Boozer? He's alive? Where is he? What happened to him? Yes, he's alive, but he's he's at a camp up north. He can't ride anymore because because he lost his arm. But uh, but he is alive. I'm so glad he's alive. I, I'm really sorry. I, I should have asked you about him sooner. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, my turn. Look, it's gonna sound stupid, but, um, but that night in Farewell, my mongrel's ring, do you still have it? Deacon, I'm sorry. It's the Colonel's policy. They, they confiscate all jewelry when you come into the camp. They melt down the gold and silver to use in Weaver's project or whatever the hell. I forgot all about it. I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I don't know, I was just thinking out loud. It doesn't matter. I think this is it. <laughs> You've been here before? Once. Before, you know, 
Career day. They invited me to give a presentation on exciting careers in biochemistry. God. What? Nothing, just... Looking back, it should have been a talk on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. How are we gonna get through this? Should we find a way around? No, uh, hold on. I can boost you up there. You ready? Yeah. Uh, you got it. <clears throat> got it. Here, watch your head. Got it. <clears throat> Jesus, what the hell happened here? This is one of the earliest survivor camps, set up before they figured out that hordes like to run along the main highways. It was dead long before I got here. This entire place is gonna be crawling. Yeah. Do you know where we're going? Like I said, I've only been here once, but I think the science building is back there. Bring the whole place down in this. We don't even know what's in there. Well, we know what's in there, but you goddamn news. Now, come on, let's just go around. No, whoever was living here jammed the place up pretty good. How about through here? The door's locked, but it doesn't look barricaded. Can you jimmy it? I think I can get this. Ah, there. Not so hard. Through here, looks clear. Coming. Here, uh, help me move this. Hold on, okay. You ready? Push! <laughs> There. We're just gonna pull them down on top of each other, so... Wait a second, what if... You come up on top of here. You lay down covering fire. <laughs> you take out the strikers, I'll take out the rest. Are you sure about this? Yeah, 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 I do this all the time. Just keep up a steady stream of fire, all right? Deacon. Once I'm through... Just close this up tight. Come on down. It's clear. You okay? God, Jesus, that was a little too close. No, we had it all the way. Gunfire's gonna bring in more. Yeah, we'll be long gone by then. Where now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, they got the place barricaded up pretty good. Uh, see if there's a hole in any of these walls. Place where we can climb up. All right, I'll look over here. Anything? No. Hey, over here, there's an open window. Coming. <laughs> you got it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got it. Hold on, let me find something. Ah, uh, Sarah? Hold on. I gotta find something I can throw down. Oh, shit! Oh, Deacon! Oh, shit, shit, shit! God damn it! Ah, uh, just find something for me to climb on! I'm on it! God damn it. <laughs> oh, God. Why, 
are we laughing? I don't know. <sighs> you know, I, I remember you were always trying to talk me into going back to school. Oh, yeah, <laughs> well. And now you finally got your way. <laughs> <laughs> well, better late than never. Oh, okay. <sighs> Thanks. <sighs> you ready? Mm hmm. Let's go. Here, let me go first this time. Yes, ma'am. Whatever you say. It's like a bomb went off in here. Yeah. Maybe one did. Come on. I, I think not. we can get through here. The door's jammed. Here. Let me no, no, I got this. I got it. <laughs> See? I told you. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I got this. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. So, uh, how badly do you need this piece of equipment? All right, we're almost there. Look, we're not giving up now. I'm just asking. Wow, well, now we know how the freaks were getting in. Someone needed to learn how to park. It looks clear. More barricades, and they're everywhere. Huh. Uh, check the buildings. I can see the science building. It's over there. Just gotta get through these barriers. Hey! Another open window. Got it. Here, let me boost you up again. Uh, only this time you... <clears throat> Don't take so long finding something for you to climb. Yeah, exactly. Hold on. Hey, and try not to attract any more swarmers this time, all right? Sure, yeah, I'll see what I can do. There's so many of them. I just kept coming. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Come on. I'm fine. Come on, we're almost there. This is the science building. Yeah, it looks like this place has been shut up tight from the inside. Come on, there's gotta be a way in. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Killed Freeze before. Oh, I know, I know. It's just... Deacon, I'm fine. Let's go. Let's check this door. Can you open it? <clears throat> no, it's jammed from the inside. Let's go around the building. There has to be a way in. Well, I'm telling you, someone sealed it tight from the inside. Well, we gotta check, right? Locked. It's okay, I'm sure it's jammed like all the rest. Another way. Oh, shit. Wait, 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 wait for a second. Those are those are newts. They're inside. Those are newts in there, which means there's got to be a way from the roof. Come on.
Come on, the roof's low over here. Yep, we just have to find a way up. Sarah, here, uh, help me push this. We can use it to climb up. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, push. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. You got it? Yeah. Okay, be ready. Newts can get pretty nasty when you trespass on their territory. I just really wish we didn't have to kill the little shits. What? What do you mean? You remind me of that little girl. The one in Farewell. The one that fucking stamped you. She didn't know what she was doing. None of them know what they're doing. They won't stop them from killing you. I know. <laughs> That's the last of them. You enjoy huh. that? Well, kill the newts? No, but I mean, you gotta admit they're pretty goddamn annoying. You're right about that. Here, give me your hand. Okay. Careful. Steady. I got this. All right. Annoying, but they smell like shit. Yeah, well, you try living like them. See how you smell after two years. No, thanks. Where, where, where are we going? Try these doors. Uh, one of these is gonna be a lab or a lecture room. Centrifuge has to be here somewhere. Come on. Okay. As it's gonna get. Let's move. D. 
Sneak and stay down. Yeah, got it. Newt's. <laughs> Damn it. Coming. How you doing on ammo? Sort of noticed that. I'll just take these. There's more of them, a lot more. We're gonna have to clear them up before we can get to the bike. You got any more of those smoke grenades? Yeah. We're up here, you can see the entire park. I watch where I'm going, and then you throw the grenades ahead of me. You got it? Got it. Okay, let's do this. Hold on. I'm coming to you. You all right? Am I all right? What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. It's just that I remember the day that I met you, you fired my gun in the air to scare off those rednecks, and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, lots changed since then. Yeah. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. What, uh, happened to you, sir? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, look, I get it. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain. Explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard Island Witch? Look, I don't give a shit about any of that. I... Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. Come on, over here. Right behind you.
Can I say thank you? No. <laughs> okay. You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. Corporal Deacon St. John. Sarge, good to see you. Oh, yeah, I got me one of those. Nice piece. St. John, I'll catch called? you later. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock around. in the middle of all of this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a dock to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <sighs> oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the doc. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Estarás bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece. It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Me estoy ablandando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal. Doc. Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, with no, Corporal Saint No, John. no, I don't think so. Cor Coronel, no entiendo. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. You Dismissed, Corporal. Matt, I've been out in this shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I, I don't know what I'd do if I. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. What's up? What's up with you? That's it, that's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath. Dude, I could you check can't out. get what I need there, you... <laughs> God, do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you can get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Oh, well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. 
Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in a ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to see how he's standing. that all about anyway what all the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless you know considering hey you were in the army once you should know that was different how well there were more people in the world i don't know i mean having a military made more sense i think it makes more sense now why it's utter fucking chaos out here we need the order and discipline or we're not gonna make it you know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks sitting pointless, I mean? No, oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. 